Okay, we're going to talk about Gargoyles a little. And why did I choose to bring that up? The animated series that Disney had. Well, it came up, I think I was reading some kind of AOL article. I know AOL isn't the best source of information, but um, I go there every once in a while because it's a habit from the years of having AOL a long time ago. So, I saw this Gargoyles article and it showed shows that had to have episodes taken off the air. Or an episode. And this, it only showed one, I believe. There was an episode called Deadly Force. Uh, Elisa Mazza was shot by, yeah, by Broadway, which was the gargoyle. And there was blood in the scene. They said they had to cut it off of, um, they had to cut it off of Disney Channel and all the other shows that was in on and stuff for reruns because of its violence and all that. That is a terrible thing that they would do that. They're only teaching a real life lesson what can happen if you fool around with things you shouldn't be fooling around with. Um, I don't understand why people think like this. Um, why they have to um, take away that valuable lessons from people and replace it with shit. Uh, this was a, a, I thought was a good lesson. Now that you think about it, now I knew it was better. You know, you don't just grab a gun. You're not supposed to touch them. But um, but um, if you watch Gargoyles all over again and you watch that episode. You look back on it and you say to yourself, you know, that really does teach a lesson, a valuable lesson at some point. But nevertheless, I wanted to mention that factor too. Gargoyles is a show that's very underrated. Nobody pays attention to it. It's probably one of the best cartoons along with Batman the Animated Series. Um, I call them cartoons, but whatever. The best animated series ever, um, and it's very underrated. If you notice that Comic-Cons now, there's no focus on Gargoyles at all. They, and the Gargoyles was going to Comic-Cons for a while. Um, the guy that, I forgot his name. He, um, he used to go to all of them that, that made it and everything. They made a comic book series, which is incredibly rare to find. Um, all kind of things happened with Gargoyles. They had DVD releases all the way up to, um... The end of the regular series, and what do I mean by regular series? The Goliath Chronicles, which um, many people don't like the Go Goliath Chronicles. I can't blame them. It's not as good as the others, but people made it sound like it wasn't worth watching. Um, whether people want to believe it or not, Angels of, Angels of the Night was the final episode in um, the Goliath Chronicles. So whether you want to accept it, that was the final episode... They ever made that was called from Gargoyles. Doesn't matter who was making the episode at the time. That was the final episode, hands down. Um, I wasn't that thrilled of it. You know what I would have liked? Consider, look at all the success all these big movies nowadays get that are animated movies. From Pixar and all that. I would have liked to see Gargoyles make the big screen in some kind of movie. There was some kind of... They had something else planned... Some live action thing, I believe, a long time ago. But what happened was, is Gargoyles never made it to that. So, it was a failure. Um, but, hey, what the... You know what's funny is, actually, they could make an actual Gargoyles movie. Well, like a CGI Gargoyle or something. Jonathan Frakes, while he is old, can still play the, um... The part of Xanatos. David Xanatos. He can still play that part. Um... I don't think he's going to want to do it, though. And that's okay. Um, what else can I say about this show? The funny part about this show is, is that I started watching it real after, after it was even, um, well, I, let's see. I don't even remember what it exactly what a year ago it ended, but I watched, started watching it well after it ended. And that was off of reruns, and I think it was Disney Channel at the time. Every day it was on Disney Channel. Then the last time I ever remember Gargoyles being on television was Toon Disney. This was back in 2010. Um, I mean, you don't see it on TV anymore. And I'm sad that it's, it's pretty sad because it's very hard to pick up the collector's sets. You'll find Volume 1 in a lot of video stores and stuff. Um, you might find Volume 2. You might find all the volumes, but it's not likely you'll find them all together. You have to go online. And the Goliath Chronicles, it's impossible to buy. But I think you um, can buy them on 
You can one not buy them. You can watch them on what's it called? Damn it, um, one of those Disney YouTubes. I forgot which one it was. It's funny though. Is that's another thing? I know why people want the sets. They want to complete the set. I completely understand that. But why would they do that? Why would they release? The Goliath Chronicles, if you can just watch it for free on YouTube. Just like all the other ones. Damn it, I can't believe it. As a huge fan, I can't believe I don't remember what that um that YouTube was called. But um it was on Toon Disney at one time, or or, or is it not called Toon Disney? I don't even remember what the, the damn channel was called. But it was on there one time. Then it was on the regular Disney channel. So it, it's a cra it's crazy. Um, I wanted this show to have a little more respect at Comic Con, for instance. Um, the problem is it's not big enough. Nobody wants to bother. Um, you can't get the creators to go to all these Comic Cons for gargoyles when they're looking at all these other TV shows that are already out. It's not Star Trek: The Next Generation when you can have people coming around for the rest of their lives. This is a show once it ended did not get a great. Um, no one had a great feel for it. I particularly thought it was a show that could have went really far if they really tried hard. The problem is people don't focus on anything nowadays, and even back then they didn't focus too much, I guess. Because I loved the show. I liked all the episodes. And um, it's a shame things had to happen the way they did. Um, Gargoyles had what many show... Um, if you look at the very first, I think it's four parts of the episode, I think it's called The Awakening, I don't even remember... Um, the first four episodes of Gargoyles, they, um, that's all in a movie tape. And, um, it's a VHS tape, and it comes with a board game. A board game, of all things. How many tapes do you see of board games? I was like, holy crap. Yeah, because you don't usually see that anymore. Um, if they want you to play a game that goes along with something on your television screen, you probably have to download an app, app for it. You're not going to download anything else. Now that's craziness, though. Good. That was that was a pretty good game. The only thing is, is your VCR tapes always used to um, wear and tear. So after you play the game a certain amount of times, it won't work anymore. Um, I don't hear any news about gargoyles at all. I the, from what I've looked up, yeah, I don't really hear anything about it. But you know what they should have did instead of fooling around with these DVD releases? Look at all these shows that are on Blu-ray, Blu-ray right now that. That get complete Blu-ray releases, and um, their price is pretty cheap. Just go out there right now and look at it. Like, look at a show like Dexter. Now, it's nothing to compare to, but I'm just saying. I, th I don't. I think it's around. It's it's well. It's got to be under a hundred bucks by now. Um, if you were to release Gargoyles on Blu-ray, a complete set, remaster the whole thing. I'm not I'm not saying touch the special features because you'd have to actually go back to all these actors and interview them and that would be impossible because no one's in the same place at the same time in Hollywood. But um that would be a great, great idea to get everybody together, including the um not just the actors, but all the people that were doing all the story writing and stuff. And add that in to the Blu-ray set. And release a Blu-ray set for, say, 50 bucks for the series. 40 or 50 bucks. I'm sorry, I don't care how good an animated series is. But if you ask for more than that, no one's going to buy it. I think that's a good deal. Gargoyles could prosper. That's what they should do right now. At least have let them have a show, have a good final goodbye. Um, the problem is, is that it's not going to happen. There's too many people out there that don't want to give the final goodbye. And, um... I, I, I feel like this show had a lot of uh, huge potentials. It had a video game for the Sega Genesis. Um, it, it had so... There's so many things that happen with this game and everything's fallen flat. One thing I have to say about the comics, like I said, they're very rare, and they are. What I don't understand, though, is why they're so expensive. I don't see too many Gargoyles comics being sold, so why are they so high in price? Beats me. All I have to say is Gargoyles is an animated series you should enjoy. There is absolutely no way to watch it except for the internet now. I'd say, I already, I already have all the sets that they released, but I'd say at this point... 
if you go online, and it's not, obviously it's not Toon Disney, I forgot what it was. You put Gargoyles into YouTube, you'll find it. There's a whole channel from like the Disney company that um that'll that'll show it. Disney XD or no, I don't know. Um, and you can look it up, and you can look it up there. Watch it there. I say don't even waste the money getting the box sets because they're disappointing. The um only the first volume had any form of special features in it, which was very small. So that means if you have the second. Second season and the um, season after that, you're not getting much out of it. And that's another thing that really was a shit in the face. But um, people were lucky they completed it. Uh, and I know no one watched the Goliath Chronicles, but in all reality, even if it has real no relation to the actual show itself, even though all the same characters and stuff, um, I would have liked to see that been released on Blu-ray too. Complete the whole thing. Unfinished projects. And these aren't just unfinished projects like Star Trek Deep Space Nine where, you, where it costs too much money. This is stuff that could be done relatively simple. There's no reason why they can't do it. Make a Blu-ray. I think you would make some money. There are hardcore fans that like this show. You've, re you've re-released DuckTales and all these other shows. Hey Arnold and shows that weren't on Disney Channel but they still um, were able to be sold again. Why can't Gargoyles pull it off? I don't get it. That that's how it is. Good luck to Gargoyles, and um, the future of it is bleak. Now, how many movies do you see with Gargoyles in it? There is a movie called Gargoyle. I think I never seen it before though. Um, and all right. Um. Yeah, that that'll be it. And they actually know they made a can. Another thing that was interesting, they made a can of spaghettios for gargoyles. I remember this back in the day when I was a kid. They actually made one. I wish I had seen the can. I mean, but if you don't believe me, um, I guess you could look it up. I'm dead sure they made spaghettios for God. Not like anyone cares. All right. Well, I'll see you later, and uh, we'll see what happens. But I, I'm pretty dead sure that no Comic Con followings happened because it would be mentioned in um online and stuff. Alright, bye-bye.